What's up everyone, how's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well. And today we're gonna to talk about PC power consumption, specifically on how to monitor your PC's power output and to figure out the cost uh, to run your PC for the year, for the month, or whatever. Now I've been using a couple of different power meters in the past, but Spartan Power reached out to me to test out their new power meter. It's really economically priced, very easy to use, and it has a couple of handy features that we'll talk about. The main question that we're gonna answer using the Spartan Power meter is how much does my PC rig cost for the entire year? Now with the Spartan Power Meter, it can actually uh, read up to 1800 watts, 15 amps. So it's fairly versatile enough to be used with any uh, different home appliance application, whether you want to figure out how much your toaster is running you every month or uh, your refrigerator. And in my case, I'm gonna use it for my PC. Now, the cool thing about this power meter is that it'll track your power consumption up to seven months. So you get a good idea in terms of what your long-term usage is. It'll give you even information about uh, the differences between uh, different days, different months, and a whole bunch of other factors as well. Importantly, based on the parameters you set on the meter, you can figure out on how much the electricity bill is going to roughly cost you uh, based on when you activate and started using this device and uh, also if you're environmentally conscious it'll give you a rough estimation on how much greenhouse gases is being emitted in terms of carbon dioxide in the kilogram factor. Now first you're going to need to know three critical pieces of information. Firstly you're going to need to know on how much your power company is charging you per the kilowatt hour. Secondly you're going to need to know if there's any kind of nighttime tariff charges where your rate changes depending upon the time of the day. So in uh, some areas where power is kind of limited uh, they kind of uh, change the rates uh, for a nighttime usage where more people at home, more people are using power, things like that. And thirdly you're going to need to know on how much CO2 emissions are being emitted per the kilogram per the kilowatt hour. So in terms of the kilowatt hour rate, uh, for me it's a flat rate for most of the time at 0.0884 cents per kilowatt hours. There's no real nighttime tariff, so that's a consistent rate throughout uh, the year. And in terms of the CO2 emissions per kilowatt hour, BC Hydro is a fairly efficient company, not a lot of CO2 generated. So in one kilowatt hour of usage, you're only looking at about 0.00025 kilograms of CO2 emissions. Now the PC I have is not insanely powerful. It's using an 8700K processor, a GTX 1080, a triple monitor setup. I obviously have uh, some uh, PC peripherals, speakers, keyboards, things like that. So nothing too crazy in terms of my usage. I'm mostly using it for a uh, general kind of computing needs. So productivity work related tasks. That's about 90 to 85%, about 10 to 15% of the time. I'm using it for gaming. So uh, this specific machine that I've tested out is not my benchmarking rig. It's not my main gaming rig, but it's uh, the rig that I use pretty much 70 to 80% of the time. Now after 27 days, I used about 65.73 kilowatt hours. If we extrapolate that into a 365 day estimate, I'm gonna use approximately about 888 kilowatt hours. And from a cost perspective annually, uh, that's gonna cost me about $78.50, which is okay. And uh, in terms of the carbon dioxide emission, it's only emitting about 0.22 of a kilograms in terms of CO2. So I'm not making a huge environmental impact uh, based on my consumption, which is kind of cool. Now keep in mind that uh, all this is uh, just a rough estimation based on the 27 days of usage. I'm definitely gonna keep this thing running on my PC for the whole year, see what I get at the end of it, and. Uh, report back to you guys for sure. Now, uh, if you have any specific questions about the Spartan power meter, definitely let, let me know. I think it's a very cost effective, very simple to use, has a nice bright display and has really uh, a straightforward kind of usage platform. Again, you don't have to use this for a PC, but it's uh, definitely critical if you're curious about how much power is being used on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, you can kind of figure out on what you need to do in order to make things uh, a little bit more or less impactful in terms of the cost perspective and the environment. So definitely a nice little tool to do so. If you have any specific questions, again, let me know. Give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, check out the link in the description for all the details and information about this product. 
Thanks again for watching. Thanks for your support. And we'll see you next time. Take care.